Hi, my name is Akshan Srivastu and welcome to CAD Academy. In previous part, we have seen the plot of EEG signals. Now, in this part, we will extract some features from those EEG signals. So, this is the part 2 and I am starting this with some basic MATLAB command which is this CLC clear close all. First of all, we will read the data. So, in previous part, we have read the data which was D underscore N underscore F. So, this time also we are going to read that file only. Alright, this one. Now, uh, I'll run this section. So, here you can see that here we have four electrodes data and this one was the noise and this one was the timestamp okay so now in this particular lecture we are going to extract the feature from tp9 electrode so uh, we will be ignoring rest of the columns so to select the tp9 what we will do is data and uh, first of all we will select the rows from 1 to 1500 as you can see here there are uh, in data there are 15204 number of rows uh, we will select only 1500 rows uh, basically 1501 rows i'll tell you why okay and uh, for column we will select the second column because in the second column in the second column we have this tp9 okay so uh, at this point this data is a table so we will convert this data into array by using the command table to array like this okay so now if i run this section then you can see that this data is now converted into array how we can say that because here we cannot see the label that, like this one was tp9 this one was af7 and so on okay this has converted into the array all right now uh, we can see the tp9 also so this is the uh, this is the values that was at the location of tp9 so now this is time to extract the features from this tp9 so first of all let me give you the idea how we are going to extract the features so for that i have made a presentation all right so here you can see that this is the vector for tp9 where uh, we have selected the 1501 rows all right now we will take the first 150 samples 150 is the sampling frequency of this signal okay you can get the sampling frequency of the data set from wherever you will uh, download your data set there will be some description and from there you can get the sampling frequency of your data set so for this particular data set we have the sampling frequency of 150 hertz so what we will do is uh, the sampling frequency of 150 hertz which means that there will be 150 samples per second okay so from here to here this is a one second of data and there are 0 to 150 samples all right so not basically zero uh, from one okay so from one to 150 hertz it means this is the data of one second okay so what we will do we will take first 150 samples we will calculate the features for those 150 samples like we will calculate the mean the standard deviation and variance now uh, we will arrange that in this manner okay like here you can see uh, mean of first 150 samples we have written that here the standard deviation of first 150 sample we have written that too and the variance of first 150 samples that is written here 
then for mean of next 150 samples that is written in the second row similarly standard deviation of next 150 sample is written here and variance and so on okay so this is the basic idea how we are going to extract the features from a vector of an eeg signal okay so first 150 samples we will get the features of that next 150 sample we will get the features of that next 150 sample will get the features of that and we will arrange that in this manner okay so this is the basic idea now we will go to the matlab i will write the code here okay then uh, after writing the code i'll explain each line of the code okay so now this is the code so what we are doing in this code we are taking samples from 1 to 150 from 1 to 150 samples we will take that for the first loop from 1 to 150 samples we will calculate the features so first feature will be mean second feature will be standard deviation third feature will be variance if you want to add more features then just write the code for that after this line okay now this loop is going to run 10 times because we are taking 1500 samples okay 1500 samples which means in one go we are taking 150 samples 150 sample will give one mean one standard deviation one variance okay the next 150 sample will give second mean second standard deviation second variance okay so so we need to iterate our loop 10 times to cover all those 1500 samples because in one time we are going to cover only 150 samples so to cover 1500 samples we need to run our loop 10 times okay this is the code and at the end of the loop this from is going to uh, shift it by plus 150 samples okay so when first loop will get completed then this from value will be 151 and this two value will be 300 okay so in the second loop there will be the samples covering from 151 to 300 okay so let's run the program and these are the features that we have extracted from the 1500 samples of tp9 okay this is the mean of first 150 samples this is the standard deviation of first 150 samples this is the variance of first 150 sample this is for next 150 samples this is the standard deviation for next 150 samples and this is the variance of next 150 samples and so on okay i hope it made sense